What's going on guys? So today I'm going to be doing a super simple, really quick install. But I've got these lenses for my tow mirrors out on my truck out there. And I'm going to show you guys how to put them in today. So they're super simple. They come, I got these off Amazon or eBay, but they come with the connector pre-wired, just like that, and it tells you which uh, which light to plug it into. So it's got one for the driving lights, one for the turn signal lights. So on those 08 style mirrors I've got on my truck out there, the driving lights are on the bottom and the turn signals are on the top. So it's pretty easy. You just figure out which side goes in. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to hook them in. But all it is is a little clip right here. You just go in behind your mirror, unclip it, pull it out, plug the new one in, and the install should be done. So these are nice because they do have the white uh, running lights and they have the switchback LED. So they're going to go from white to yellow uh, whenever you hit the turn signal on them. But we're going to get out there. Hopefully the wind's not too bad. Uh, it's about the first day in North Carolina. It hasn't freaking rained. So that's awesome. But now the wind's blowing. It's cold outside. Um, I'm hoping it's not going to mess with the sound too much. But if I need to, I will do a little voiceover on it. But with that, let's get in the install. All right, so we're out here at the truck. And you can see the difference. So the new one's going to have the smoke lens in it. So to get the tab out, the one you're looking for on the inside of the mirror is this big flat one. I'm going to see if we can see it in here, but right, let's see, right there. That's the little tab on the inside. So basically all you got to do is take a little screwdriver, go in there, pop the tab towards you, and the light should just fall out. All right, so right there what I found out is you actually have to push that tab towards the center of the truck. So I was trying to pull it towards me and I couldn't get it to come out. And these are the original ones off these mirrors. Um, so they were pretty stuck in there. But if you push it towards the body, I also got a second screwdriver. Just tried to pry it out and it popped right out. So now we can take the lights out and swap it out. So when you take the lights out, you just twist them to the left and pull them out. And you can see each bulb is nice and yellow. So my driving lights the ones that are on all the time this one's almost burnt not even orange anymore and that's another reason why i wanted to swap them out because they don't have that nice led yellow look that all the new lights have but you just pull the bulbs out and we're going to swap them out so the last piece of the puzzle they say these are these are exactly the same as the bulbs that came out so you really just plug them in Make sure you put the driving light in the right slot. And the turn signal on the top one. Like that. And then they actually screw in the same place the lights would. So you just tuck the wire away down inside of it. Alright, so now both the lights are in. And you pretty much just gotta work it back into its spot. Well, that's not good. I guess when you have eBay mirrors and eBay lights, they don't actually fit. So these new lights are actually too wide for the hole that they're supposed to go in. So I guess I'm about to go break out the Dremel, uh, just grind off a little bit around this edge and try to get these things put back in. I'm just going to try to take a little bit off of this edge there. It's really pretty annoying. I wouldn't think you'd have to modify these little lights just to put them in, but I guess that's what you get for getting stuff off eBay. All right, so on the light, I ground, if it'll focus, I ground this back plastic piece flush with this nice shiny piece right here. And it's still not enough, so I'm going to have to take actually some of this shiny black part off 
and try not to let my Dremel slip and scratch the front of the light. It's super aggravating, so I, I'm definitely going to leave some horrible feedback on eBay for these things because it should not be this difficult to put these lights in. Uh, but I guess I'm just going to keep on grinding and hopefully they'll go in after that. All right, so we're back out here. We're going to try it again. All right, so I just want to show you guys. Let's see if. Look at that. What the heck? It should not be that hard to put a light in a mirror. They're obviously way too big, so I guess I'm still going to have to grind some right here to get that thing to go in flush. I'm probably going to break it trying to take it back out, but look at that. All right, so we're back out here. This is the driver's side that I haven't touched yet. You can see the seam on it. It sticks out just a little bit. You know, there's still a decent crack right here. So I finally got the passenger side pretty close. So it's all in there. Lined up pretty good, but this bottom corner, is still just not dropping in. And then when you look at it from the side, you can see it's just, I mean, it's not even close. I guess I'm going to have to pull it back out, do even more grinding. This has really just turned into a huge pain in the butt. It was supposed to be a five minute video. Ah, no well. So I finally gave up on doing it perfectly. But that's the stock light, of course with the driving lights on. We'll come around here. So that's how they look with your driving lights on. So I'm going to get some night shots later on and show you all that. But you can see I, I ended up having to grind the outside edge of the mirror as well as the light to get it to go in. But down here on this corner, for whatever reason, I mean, it's not even close. It, You can see it right there, the big gap and it, how it gets closer up to the top. But I'm really just tired of fooling with it. And nobody else is going to be able to tell, so I think it looks pretty good. All right, so we're back in the garage, and my overall review of those things is they're terrible. <laughs> I mean, they look really good. They look good on the truck. You can still see the light turned on there. Um, God, I mean, there's no reason the quality of those things should be like that. They should have been able to go straight in, uh, straight into the mirror with no problem. I'm going to flip on the turn signal right quick. quality well as you can see my turn signals on and now nothing's happening so after all that work all that grinding it's not fixed all right so I guess at this point I'm just gonna pull the stupid things back out <laughs> and just go get some LED bulbs to make that yellow right, so I'm back Turns out the connector inside the wire is actually, I guess, single polarity. I'm not exactly sure what they call it on the LEDs, but I just pulled it out, twisted it 180 degrees, and stuck it back in. Look at that. Well, I guess it does work. It's pretty cool. So I guess I'm going to stick them back in, see what they look like at night. And also, check us out on the Instagram. So I just got our Instagram page up. It is also No BS Auto Rehab. And there I've got a whole bunch of pictures of the GMC Sierra we're working on right now. I'm going to get a whole bunch of pictures up of, you know, the installs before they become videos and all kinds of cool stuff like that. But give us a follow, hit the thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button because we've got a lot of cool stuff coming. Uh, but with that, I'll see you guys in the next one.